going to come back to a video that I posted in June 15th of this year. It was a warning for 7-Eleven, um, um, a dream that my niece and I had had on the same night, and I got many confirmations of that um, to post it. So I, because it was 7-Eleven, I tied it to July 11, which fell on the 17th of Tammuz. Um, so I was uh, highly watch for that time frame, but I also um, kept in mind that it could have been, you know, the seventh month Tishri in the uh, Jewish calendar, 11. So that was actually yesterday, um, and yesterday all day I was just kind of checking the news to see if something would happen. Um, and, you know, nothing happened until the evening, so I didn't find out about it until this morning. And um, even yesterday during the day, I caught several confirmations. I checked my phone at 7.11 p.m. Um, when I was uh, cooking dinner. And then again, before I went to bed, I checked my phone. It was 11.07 p.m. So I thought that was strange um, that um, I got those two additional confirmations besides the ones that I talked about in this video. So I'll put a link to this video. Um, but basically, earlier that month in June, I had a dream about the number 11 being memorable and then my niece had a, her own dream the same night about a shooting at a 7-eleven store um, where some gang members were trying to shoot her but she was able to take their gun away um, and shoot them back so this extra girl was trying to tell us about all of her small, you know, extra roles that she played in different movies. And then the male actor that was sitting next to us, a famous one, he said, he was a bit arrogant, and he said, well, you have to be in 11 films in order to be considered memorable. So that's the word he used, memorable and 11 films. And then he and Scarlett Johansson left. And that was the end of the dream. Her name is um, Scarlett. Obviously, it's a red-orange color, and it's um, often associated with immorality and sin. Particularly prostitution or adultery. Um, and in the Bible, there's a passage that refers to the great harlot that is dressed in purple and scarlet in Revelation 17, 1 to 6. Um, so her daughter's dream was that she was at a 7-Eleven store in front, and she there was you know a bunch of uh, gang gang members, and they were. Um, looking at her and they were going to attack her with their gun, a gun, a gun. And uh, she was really scared, but somehow she was able to take their gun and she shot them all. But she was still scared because, um, because she knew that their leader or the main one uh, was going to come back and um, get her, you know, to take revenge. And she was scared, but then she saw her father, her protector, and then she felt better, and that's when she woke up. It brought me back to, okay, so maybe that, that's the missing piece. It's, it's pointing to 7-Eleven. And, um, and, you know, in my dream, it says something memorable, you know, it's not the 11th film. So, um. It's, you know, to me, that's a warning, and then the confirmation of when we were actually speaking, 11-11 over there, 7-11 here, and then that night when my husband was like, oh, let's go to bed, what time is it? And I checked the thing, it was 11-11. Um, I was talking to my mom about the coincidence, and 
just when I got into the part of the number 11, it was, we were 11 minutes and 11 seconds into the call. So that was just like, okay, tons and tons of confirmation. So. so I was really expecting for something memorable to occur on the 11th day of the seventh month. Um, but I all, I, in my back of my mind, um, even though I was expecting that, um, I still think we may be a month behind. And because in the Hebrew calendar, um, the month of Tishri uh, corresponds with Libra. And we've just started Virgo. So um, I think maybe that could be a per precursor event. Maybe. Um, I mean, I might be wrong, but uh, I really am looking to the 11th of the following month, um, which is Halloween. And that's really scary because, you know, it's just associated with, you know, thinning of the veils. Um, it comes from All Hallows' Eve, um, from some ancient pagan festivals. Um, they call it this the Samhain. I haven't really heard about that before, but I know that's like celebrated the Day of the Dead. It, so the, the interesting thing, though, is it comes from hallowed evening or holy evening. And it comes from the old Irish word for summer's end. It also marks the end of the harvest season and the beginning of the winter or the darker half of the year. There's also an All Hallows day here. This is supposed to be a Christian feast. Never celebrated this. Um, and this is supposed to be a festival celebrated in honor of all the saints. In Western Christianity, it is celebrated on the 1st of November um, by several churches. In the Eastern Orthodox Church, this is actually the first Sunday after Pentecost. So there's even a link there to Pentecost. Another thing that I found very strange that I've noticed lately is the number 91. So this mass shooting yesterday was at the Route 91 Harvest County Country Music Festival. And interestingly enough, I just found out that a cousin of mine we spent a lot of time together. Um, I guess recently she kind of got into country music and um, she was actually at this festival with her entire family. Um, so they got to experience all the terror. They're all okay. Um, but um, it's really interesting that she was actually there. So this um, Route 91 caught my attention when I saw it this morning because I've been seeing the 91 come up in a lot of things over the last two weeks, I think, only. Um, first was this, um, the California Canyon fire that happened. This is from September 26th. This was, a, you know, the scene at the 91 freeway. I used to drive through that a lot. And actually, the cousin that I just mentioned was at this country music festival, was lives right by that freeway. Um, also, Hugh Hefner just passed away five days ago, I guess. Dies at 91. And I watched, um, my husband wanted to go see a movie, so we watched this Kingsman movie about spies. And I noticed that, and it has cowboys in it, you know, like the American spies are dressed as cowboys. In this fighting sequence, I'll just play a small clip. It's, um, it's a brand new movie, it just came out like a week ago or so. So um, it also has a bowling ball in this fight scene and it shows a 91 twice. So see that? That was just one part. I remember seeing it, noticing it very clearly in another um, part later on. The villains area 
happens in Poppy Land. Um, that's the, the, the bad guy is um, Julianne Moore. Her name is Poppy. She lives in this entire, you know, resort in the middle of a jungle that's American diner, American bowling, um, just an all-American city type place, and everything is called Poppy's. Um, and she's dressed in red, you know, which kind of brings me back to, you know, Scarlett Johansson um, name, you know. So I looked up what does Poppy mean, and um, they've long been used as a symbol of sweet peace and death. Um, sweet because of the sedative from opium, death because of the common blood red color of the red poppy. And um, in Greek and Roman myths, they were used as offerings to the dead. And given that, you know, the next, or what I believe to be the true 7-Eleven is from Halloween. That's kind of creepy. And it's a wartime remembrance um, symbol um, because it's a common weed in Europe. And um, they use it um, for Remembrance Day, which is also coming up on uh, 11, 11, Remembrance Sunday. So that's another memorable 11, I guess 11 days after 7-11. Yeah, that would be on the 22nd. So 11 days after the one that I believe to be the true 11, 7-11. Um, so, and of course, you know, Psalm 91, most people are familiar with that. Um, this is all about seeking refuge um, and that our Lord is our fortress and to trust in him. So I think we need to um, pray this every day. I looked it up in uh, Strong's. G91 is um, hurting, to hurt. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. This is where the four beasts come in, and they say, Measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou not, hurt not the oil and the wine. Here's with the loud voice of the four angels to whom it was given birth, to hurt the earth and the sea. Here is where hurt not um, the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of God in our forehead. This is all about hurting so stay safe everyone and um, I'll do a better I'll try to do a better job of um, putting up some more dreams um, that I receive you know I was in high expectation when the 7-eleven 17 deaths news came along but um, in the back of my mind I always consider the possibility of it occurring on the seventh Jewish month so you know even though we might our original interpretation of dreams might lead us to something else, you know, just always keep them in mind and keep a journal because um, you never really know when they might come into fruition.